Hello, this is Lego Clone Fanatic doing my second um, Lego Star Wars 2013 review. This one is going to be on 75002. ATRT has 22, 222 pieces and ages 7 to 12. So let's start with the minifigures. First, we have the most anticipated one, and possibly my favorite, is the 501st Clone Trooper. He is really good. I seriously like him a bunch. More than Shadow Arc Trooper, I guess. I think that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, the helmet is, is really good. It's not too oversized. It's kind of it's really accurate to the show I guess yeah so they got new leg printing with the blue I guess they had to do that if it has blue on and then they got a new torso with different not the curve but it's the straight now yeah <laughs> and then it's got the blue and blue arms and back printing um, uh, do I have a regular clone trooper around me? Yeah, um, let me go get him. So, let me just put him down. There, got one. And here he is compared to the old Clone Wars clone trooper. Yeah. Um, the mouth is a bit too high, I think. It's perfect, but the mouth, it's the mouthpiece, it's just a bit too hard, high. So, um, yeah, as you can tell, there's a bit differences in the torso. Um, and then, in the back, it's extremely different. Looks like the thermal detonator got smaller in the design process, I guess. So, mm, I don't really care if the blue doesn't go all the way around. Eh, it's easy for customers to do that. And he's just got a regular clone trooper face. Yeah. And then it's the breathers are on it. So is that. You want a really close up view of it. And there you go. And then there's the legs. And the torso. And then the back. Yeah. So, there's the clone trooper. Most favorite just one. The reason you want to get this set. And the, possibly, the ATRT. You know, here's the second one, not too good, um, just a commando droid, but it's different this time. It's the captain, the commander, or the captain of this, of the commando droids. Now, I don't know if mine's defective or not, because look how high the printing is. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, if, like, the eyes are supposed to be that high up. I don't know. Um, he's got the red dot again on his torso, regular gun, whatever battle droid legs, and same stuff, but the only thing that's different is the head printing. Yeah. And here's the one I'm, uh, he's like my second favorite figure here. Actually, my third. Yeah, second, because I don't think the sniper droid would count as one. Um, but it's Yoda, my first Yoda. Actually, second, if you first, if you count, if you don't count the Santa one, <laughs> um, people say he's the exact same as in the AAT. He's not really. He's got a slightly different torso printing, slightly, and same head. Um, I think that's a short lightsaber or not? Yeah. And then here's the difference. I don't know if that was on there or not, but there's back printing. I don't know that. I didn't own it yet, so I don't know. Post in the comments if this, if there's anything different for him 
like if there it wasn't back printing because I don't think there was and here's one that here's the next one the sniper Jordica not really count as a minifigure but he's cool either way now look at the size of him there's a sniper Jordica and here's a Viper first Cold Trooper he only goes up to his gun that's how tall this guy is. He's huge. Like, I thought he was going to be tiny. But then I built him and I'm like, Oh my goodness, this guy's huge. Yeah, he is huge. Like, here is the, um, Clone Trooper vs. Jordica's Battle Bag Jordica. And there he is compared to him. It's huge. Yeah, he's completely huge. Um... So he's good. He's got those thingies. I don't know. I think they're deflectors. I don't know why this one didn't have them. This small Jordica didn't have them. I guess. And then he's got that thing. I, mean, I don't know if it's possible to roll them up or not. Let me go try. And you'll have to take the gun in. Which is impossible right now, so I'm not gonna try. So I'm just gonna move him to the side. And that's basically all the figures. So let's move all of them, except the Jordica, to the back. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna keep the clone trooper here, because we're gonna need him for this. And here is the big boy of this set the ATRT. It is huge. Like here's the ATRT. And yeah, here's the ATRT, and here's a clone trooper. This thing is huge. It's huge. At first, at first glance, when I saw this set online, I thought, man, this thing is gonna be like as tall as a box. It's not. It's not. I thought it was gonna be huge, but it's not. It's huge, huge, compared to minifigure scale, but in life-size scale, not really. Like, um, let me get the turbo tank one. Um, here's the turbo tank ATRT. So far, my favorite ATRT. And here it is, compared to it. I think the ATRT from the turbo tank is better sized than this one. But what else would they do with the set with all this stuff? What else? Um, do a I don't know barn battle, I guess. <laughs> I think ATRT worked out fine. So let's start with the features. It's got posable legs. You can only go. You can go this. You can straighten out, or you can only go this far in that joint on that joint and. That far in that joint. And that far right there. That far. And then that far. So he's go like put his feet over the driver, I guess. Yeah. And I really like these toe thingies right here. These thingies. Yeah. It's got a movable gun. These two can fold out. And let me, let me give up a higher view because I'm going up. Yeah, these can move in and out about that far, that far in. Those, these can move in and out. This thing can move out. Yeah, this thing's not really, this thing is going to really move a lot. And there, and there's that. And there, and then they can take the Fubba first. You can put his gun in the back storage right here. Yeah. And then, I don't really like to put their arms on here, so I just lay them back like this. Just lay them back like that. And then, I just put them in there. And then I straighten them up. Put his hands down, and then put the things over him. And then put his gun in the back, like it, because it fell off. And there doesn't really have a good visibility as you can see yeah 
sure. It doesn't really have a good amount of visibility. See, if you have them like that, then you won't really see. <laughs> kind of a flaw, I guess. So, this set is pretty good. Let's move on to the box. Okay, the box is bigger than this set entirely. But we're gonna have to goof it out. So I can show it like this. So that means you got Yoda right here. Because Yoda with Yoda in the set. And then you got the ATRT driver going like that. I don't see why they didn't do an ARF trooper instead. I don't know. And the gun smoke. Yeah, because it just fired a shot somewhere, probably right here. And then the droid. Wait a second. Stay every droid because can't emit shields. They mostly have shields when that thing goes over them. Which cannot be possible. And Yoda deflecting a blaster bolt from the commander droid captain. Says Yoda, not new. Five of his clone trooper, yes, is new. Commander droid captain is new. This is 22, 222 pieces. This is 12. Yoda, and then that stuff again. And then different language. You see another language on this one. And then, yeah. Then here is the back. Um, you got the storage, and the 501st ATRT, and Yoda, and then the droid, and then that, and the droid is sneaking up behind it. Yay, no shields. And then the gun rotating, and the could scene with Yoda, and then the ATRT on a bar. And then, yeah, my favorite arc. And then, uh, Fiber First DTRT schematics, schematics, and then you got a Fiber First finally showing right there. Yeah. And then, yeah, I really like this set because it's based on Umbar. And then you got, you got the road, they're on the road to the capital. So there's that, and here, let's move on to the instructions. The instructions are like this, it's like that. But when you open it, you've got to turn it, and then here's it is. And then, new thing. And then, contents. And here's what I don't get. If you look on the 501st Clone Trooper, the mouse is really high. But when you look into the instructions, look at the helmet. It's perfect. Why didn't we get that? I don't get it. And it's got... Um, a lot of steps, because this thing is really cool. So this thing's got 24 plus steps, and then I end up with that. And then you got pieces, a lot of blue pieces in the set, I really like that. And a few chrome. Then, here's that code again. If you didn't catch it in the last one, it's the exact same, S4YH3Y. Internet connection required, and then here's all the figures again, and then sets, still need to pick up that one. And then, that's pretty, probably it for the, um, winter wave of 2013. Um, I may do the poly bags when I get them. Yeah. So, I'll start doing reviews a lot more now. And then, here's that. I don't see why they don't get rid of that. I tried it once, didn't work. <laughs> Let me try it again. See if I can get a good one and review it. So yeah, I really recommend the set. Yeah, I'm a good army builder, as Rick Show said, but Yoda not so much. He's mostly at one time. Unless if you want to make a colony of Yodas, like whatever species he is. I still think it's backwards. I still think it's Yoda's backwards. It's like, I don't know, Adioma. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh well. So, then, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I forgot to say that in my other videos, so, um, yeah. So, this is Lego Clone Fanatics, signing out.